So today I thought I would be clever and try to bypass the hard work it takes to make a painting and use stencils to fast track my way to make a quick work of art, thus try to make a quick buck. Well, as you will see with the final result, that did not happen. Nor did I make any money, nor did I even bother finishing this conglomeration of manufactured, cheapened, and atrocious kitsch. I used acrylic paint for this painting because it dries fast thus furthering my expediting attempts at making this. Don't get me wrong, acrylic paint is excellent when you want to make something quicker, and painting fast is great to create a certain style. I think I relied too heavily on using these stencils, and didn't realize that it would still take quite some time to elaborate on the various intricacies of the buildings and the way the colors blend together with all the city lights and angles. Stencils can be a great tool when you want to save time with getting things done, especially if you want to create replicas of paintings of yours in the future. But, as with any other tool, don't rely on it too much as otherwise it would become a crutch and you would neglect other things that you can help improve your skills. So, I bought some thick poster paper and drew out the edges of where I was going to make the incision with my <laughs> X-Acto knife. So, I used three stencils. One large one for the buildings in the back, a second one for the buildings in the front, and a very small third one to paint the lights on the buildings. So, after removing that second stencil that puts in those orange lit up buildings in the front, I knew that I had to have way more work to do and that this isn't the best output. And then I thought that I just need to start adding the lights on the buildings and all the small yellow white dots and it'll all come together after that, right? Well, no, sort of, but not really. Of course, I used a stencil for that as well. And that was the final result. That was the final nail in the coffin, should I say. After having applied the stencil for the lights multiple times across the buildings to see how this experiment would go, that's when I realized that this project is not going the way I wanted and I would have to start manually painting again and spend some quality time creating the art not manufacturing cheaply made products. The lights that I added onto the buildings looked very stiff and rigid, just like everything else I painted. These stencils have no soul. Making a painting, even one that has uh, more abstract elements to it than realism, it still takes time and patience. And if you try to cut corners with making something, it's gonna show with this lack of spontaneity in life. So. Keep that in mind when you're making a painting, whether it's a big, small, abstract, or realistic. Just focus on spending some quality time with it, going back and uh, just painting it very organically as opposed to using stencils all the time or relying too heavily on them. So that's it for now, guys. Bye.